Hello and welcome to Teacher of Lost channel. In this video, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Workbook 3. And this part is aimed to test students' progress or students' understanding of the lessons covered in this unit. The first question in this part is asking us to use the chart to answer the questions which are given below. So in this part, the numbers of students are listed for four weeks, which is the first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. We will answer the three following questions about the information in this chart. The first question, which is question A, is asking us, in which week is the number of learners more than 20? So we have to count the number of learners. We know that when we record information using tally mark, we group each five marks. So 5, 10, 15, and 4 here, which is 19. And here, 5, 10, 15, and 2 here, which is 17. 5, 10, 15, 20, 22. This one is 22. 5, 10, 15. The question is asking us in which week the number is more than 20. We can write that in week 3 in week three or in the third week because only in the third week the number of students is more than 20 which is 22. in question b it says add the number of learners in the second and the fourth week together what is the total the number of learners in the second week is 17 and the number of learners in the fourth week is 15. so 17 plus 15 is 32. we can write 17 plus 15. So from 17, uh, if you take 15 of it, 15 plus 15 is 30, and another 2 plus 30 is 32. In question C, it says, how many more learners were present in the first week than in the fourth week? In the first week, we had 19 learners. In the fourth week, we have 15. So 19 minus 15 is 4. We can say, four more learners four more learners or we can just write 19 minus 15 is equal to 4. we are done with question one let's now move to question number two let me scroll a bit down in this question it says complete the chart to show the tally marks for this data so the first point says 12 people like apple. We have four types of fruits here. And the first part says 12 people like apple. So apple is here. We can use tally marks to show 12. So one, two, three, four. We group each five marks. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So five, 10, 12. We are done with the first part. And the second part says, double that amount liked mango mango is in the second row so double 12 we know double 12 means two 12s or 12 plus 12 which is 24 or 2 times 12 is also giving us 24 it means 24 people like mango so to record it in this chart we use tally mark one two three four five one two three four five 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it shows that 24 people liked mango. The third point says, grapes are liked by half the number of those who liked apple. How many people liked apple? 12. So half of 12 is 6. Half of 12 is 6. Or if we divide 12 by 2, we get 6. So 6 people liked grab. To show it, we use tally mark. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And one more mark to show 6. The last point says, bananas are liked most by 7 people. 7 people liked bananas. So again, we use tally mark. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 1, 2. 
So we are done marking the number of people who liked mango, apple, grab, and banana. Now, the following question asks how many people took part in the survey? To find out, we have to count the number. So we know that 12 people liked apple and 24 liked mango. 24 plus 12 is 36. And 6 liked grab. So 36 plus 6 is 42. And 7 people liked bananas. So 42 plus 7 is 49. You can say that 49 people took part in the survey. We are done with question number 2 as well. Let's scroll down to move to question number 3. In question 3, it says, this table shows learner's score for a math test. And we are asked to use the data to complete the table here. In the first column, we have the scores from 30 to 90. In the second column, we have tally, where we have to use tally marks to record the data. In the third table, we have frequency, where we have to use number to show how many of the scores occur. Now to find how many students scored 30, we have to start looking from the first row, then the second, and then the third. In the first row, 130 we have here. So I will record each one, one by one, and it's the usefulness of tally marks that we can use to record each one of the data. So one, one here, two. In the second row, we don't have any. In the third row also we don't have any so in the frequency table we can write two it shows two students scored 30. now to find 40 again we start looking from the first column one here so one we write here then one here and we use another tally mark here so in the second column we have 140 here and one here and in the third column also we have one here which shows five students scored 40. So I will write five here. Then we move to 50. Again, we have to look for 50 in each of the rows. So in the first row, we don't have any. In the second row, one we have here. So I will use the mark one. And then we don't have any. We have one here, two. So we have two students who scored 50 so i will write 2 in the frequency table to find how many students got 60 we have to look for 60 in each of the rows we have one here so i will use the mark one then one here two and one here which is three then we don't have any more here and we don't have any students who scored 60 in the third row so it means three students scored 60. And now we look for 70. We don't have any student who scored 70 in the first row. In the second row also we don't have. In the third row one we have here. And one we have in the last place here. So two students scored 70. Again to find how many students scored 80. We have to look for 80. We have one here. One here. Two. One here which is three. In one here, which is four, we have one here, five, and the last one is here. Let me cross it, six. So six students is called 80, and the last one is 90. Now we can easily find 90. One is here, one is here. So one, two, and two in the last row. So three, four. Four students scored 90. So we are done marking the tally marks and also writing the frequencies. Now let's scroll down to see what are the following questions. In the follow-up questions it says write three things that the table shows you. Three things that the table shows you. So the first thing that we can find out from the table is the number of students. We can see that 24 students took part in this test. We can write 24 students took the test. Took the test. Okay, the second thing that we can see is the number of students who scored below 50. 
we can write seven students seven students scored below 50 below 50 and the other thing that the table shows is majority of the students who scored 50 we can write majority of the students or majority of the students scored above 50. So we are done with question number three as well. And another thing that I want to add here while answering this type of questions, I can say that there is no right or wrong answer in statistics. You write your answer based on your evaluation or based on your gathering of the data or the information. So we are done with all three questions, question number one, two, and three. And I hope it helps you learn how to answer questions related to the statistics, specifically using tally chart and also frequency table. And please subscribe to my channel, like the videos. And if you have any question, ask me in the comment section under this video. And please share the videos with your friends if possible. Have a nice time and thank you so much.